this is all flowing towards the lake that I'm walking toward, actually. Um, you can actually see it off in the distance. Let me zoom in. See, it's over there. Yep, I'm just by myself taking a walk. I really like seeing things like that, where it's not a waterfall, but, you know, rushing water going down a babbling brook. But anyway, we're here. Uh, this was the whole objective of this particular walk. I'm, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes away from my partner's cabin, I think. And yeah. So, fishing without a license is prohibited, unless if you buy a license card. Nice that that's in English as well. Wasn't expecting it, but you know. This is a tourist destination in summer. This is most assuredly not summer. This is actually the beginning of November. But this is the lake. I am not intending to go up the mountain or anything like that. That's That path actually takes you way up there and over there. Just walking closer to the water, at least up until this point where I think it might be too muddy for me to continue, but just take a look at that idyllic scenery. Some of you may have seen photos of this earlier, although the water level is much higher right now than it is normally because it's been pouring rain for the past month. Yeah, we'll go with month. Uh, today and tomorrow, and the day after actually, it's not scheduled to pour rain. So this is my chance to actually see things. So I am. Wish my partner was here with me, but they didn't sleep very well last night. Um, we're alternating between couch and bed, and this was my night in the bed. This was their night on the couch. I'm going to let them have their bed back because I can sleep far better on the couch than they can. So yeah, it's quite beautiful here. <sighs> I'm not comfortable here, by the way. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this. I'm very uncomfortable when I'm away from people. Not just, like, when I was in quarantine, when I was socially isolated, but in general, there's not enough people in this region for me to feel comfortable, especially since I don't know the primary language. So, if I were to, say, break a leg right now, I'd be screwed. Yeah. So, things like that tend to worry me quite a bit. But, yeah. This is the terminus of that babbling brook. And oh boy, is the water level really high today. Anyway, bye. And some 4K 60 footage. Once more, should have brought my tripod. I didn't, but I should have. My tripod is back at the cabin. The little babbling brook goes under this bridge. I'm walking back. For reference, but there's a split. There's one stream there, and the main stream there. This is just really a diagonal going along the road. The road curves around a bunch. And yeah, landscape video just doesn't quite do it justice in my mind. But yeah, that's also running under the road. Going to meet out with the merged stream, which is down that way. Ah, and yes, this is a single lane road, by the way. It creeps me out. Um, I have distinct memories, uh, hold on, might as well switch it to be selfie based while I'm talking. I have distinct memories of one of the times coming here, we arrived, we were coming here via bus, and I had always tried to figure out how in the world these bus drivers were able to take these crazy mountain turns. This isn't a crazy mountain turn area, by the way, that's the other side of where my partner's cabin, but these crazy mountain turds on a single lane road without hitting anything. Um, yeah, they actually hit something on that bus ride. Uh, specifically, they hit the mountain. It started scraping up against the bus and left not quite a gash, but damage on the bus. <sighs> Babbling brook, sheep. But they look more like pigs than sheep to me. I think they're pigs. Hmm. Different variety of hair than I'm used to on piggies. 
But yeah, pigs. An electric fence. But pigs. I guess. Maybe. Can you tell I'm an urbanite? And I have arrived back from the lake area. My partner's cabin's up to the right somewhere. And that's the fjord. <sighs> yep. So you see how there's no sun here? Would it surprise you if I said that it's currently 16? As in 4 p.m. There is no sun. Sunset is technically at 4.22, 16.22 today, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's just the fact that there's mountains in the way. But uh, yeah, also, that's the babbling brook again. This is where we part ways with the babbling brook. I'm going off that way, it's going off that way. Underneath that bridge, which totally deserves a troll under it. So yeah, um... I'm gonna get better video footage up at the top of that little mound. <sighs> but electrical power. Uh, this is a place of wilderness to me. I mean, yeah, it's farmland, but like this is rural with the capital of Rur. Also, there's still floodwaters around because oh boy, has it rained a whole bunch. Um, yeah. It's just kind of crazy, and uh, I'm not a huge fan of this level of rural. I mean, I don't mind visiting, but... Oops, stupid fingers. Sorry, I'm having to hold the camera weird. And by camera, I'm in phone. Uh, I generally don't mind visiting rural, but I really feel uncomfortable. Uh, oh, we're getting up to that top of the hill. That path, I swear, is probably like a former landslide. You can kind of tell that that's sloped like that. Focus. There we go. That's focused. Or uh, sloped up. That kind of looks like a slant. And that is an abrupt cliff drop. Yeah. Um, pretty sure that's a former landslide. Because that's not creepy. But anyway, now you can get a good view of the fjord. <sighs> so yeah, this is the area my partner lives. I am in western Norway. And that is a major fjord. There's the babbling brook over to the left. It's still kind of running parallel until we get further down. But you'll notice that it's actually going the other direction now. That's because it's going out toward the fjord. But yeah. Crazy land, isn't it? <sighs>